Okey-dokey, so had a package. Here it is. Let's open it up. I think you guys will be interested. Mm-hmm. I'm doing this on my phone, so that's why I have to be a bit a bit faster than usual. Otherwise, I'd uh, I'd unbox it slowly. Hold on, I'm gonna stick that in here. I'm gonna stick that one here. Yep, looking good, looking good. Just gonna slide it in. Slide it in the sides here. Ah. Oh yeah, there we go. Sensual. A sensual <laughs> unboxing video. I'm sure, I'm sure someone's already done it. In fact, I have no doubt someone has already done it. Ah, oh, come on. Oh wait, no, it's only padding. Oh, there we go. And there's even more padding. Okay, alright, all right. Let's just keep digging. Keep digging. Keep digging. Keep digging. More and more digging. Hmm. I wonder what this could be. That's fine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, all right, that's enough of that. Back. Move these out of the way. Okay. A little hole. Can you see what it is? Uh. Now, those in the know. Let's put the phone in. Those in the know. Oh, yeah, that doesn't look like anything from that angle. Those in the know already know what this kind of is. So let's keep uh, let's keep cutting it open with a knife because you know that won't give that won't give everyone a heart attack. No, okay, I'm not going to open it with the knife. Don't worry. I was just doing that just to kind of get in, but it looks like it's actually just uh, lead wrapped, lead wrapped instead. <laughs> this is ridiculous. So this came all the way from the US of A, uh, and it's actually something I've owned, believe it or not, two others before uh, this one. I owned one that was in a sort of moderate condition, uh, one that was in a pretty bad condition, and now this one, which is actually probably the best condition one that I have come across, uh, and I will most likely be keeping this one. The first one, the medium condition one, I donated uh, to a to a reenactment group um, of the period. That's annoying. I um oh have my camera upside down first and foremost. I uh, unwrapped it and um, then the recording failed. So I'm getting pretty Pretty sick of that happening. Um, if you saw my last video where I had the uh, Sabre unboxing, basically the audio for that didn't work, uh, even though I was shooting it on my um, DSLR with the Rode mic. Uh, and I'm just doing this one off the cuff on my phone. And um, yeah, so I'm getting pretty pretty tired of all these technical difficulties. I'm definitely going to have to upgrade to like some actual serious editing software at some point. So if you have any suggestions as to free um, well at least for the moment free editing stuff that'd be great anyway I unwrapped it and here it is what is this well this is a general pattern uh, saber so it's a US fencing helmet for uh, cavalry single stick back sword uh, saber usually the wooden wasters um, and bayonet training and this is in incredibly good condition relatively speaking the neck pad chin pad throat protection the ears are actually stuffed it still has the cap and more importantly it has the leather fittings it has all the leather fittings including this little side strap bit here also yep it um, happened again so I'm not going to talk any more in this uh, in this little video. We're going to have to do it a bit uh, bit more of a full overview and review um, in a proper video. Uh, so I will cut to the chase, and I'm going to put this on, and I can show you what it looks like. Right. So here is what it kind of looks like when it's on. It's not on properly. This little pad is meant to be up here. Um, I haven't actually strapped it up at the back. 
Um, I don't know what this white stuff is. It could be mold, it could be poisonous. If it's poisonous, I have it on my head and I'm breathing it in, but whatever. Quite firm padding, uh, good line of sight. As you can see, it's much bigger than my head. Uh, I take back what I said about all the straps being here. There appears to be a buckle here missing, uh, which would be for this one, I believe. So this goes around your neck, I think. Um, I'll put some pictures up in this video so you guys can see what a 100% prime specimen looks like. But... <laughs> specimen looks like but those are generally kept in museums I have not seen one of those where everything is perfect with no damage discoloration or anything missing uh, available on the, on the you do see these and people are trying to ask for like a thousand dollars for them they're dreaming okay they're they're not rare okay pattern masks are not rare all right they're uncommon they're certainly not common but I remember I found one, okay, that was available in an op shop in America, like their version of the Red Cross. So these are not rare, all right. Um, but there you go, so this is what it kind of looks like. And I'll see if I can turn around, you can see the back. Probably haven't got it on properly, but catch you guys next time.